Welcome back into Legion Field as you're listening to Mustang Football. Brush leading the Mustangs as both teams return to the field. Fort Morgan in their stretching circle came out to a, a rather big round of applause by the, cr the crowd here, uh, even though they've not been uh, so efficient on the field. The crowd's still trying to get behind them. I think the Mustangs have given the crowd some positives that they can build on. You know, certainly lots of mistakes and a lot of things, but there has been some positives. And uh, need we remind you, though I, I feel obligated to, this Fort Morgan team still looking for a win since new November of 2009. 0-10 last year. Uh, tough luck season, if you will, and the way this game is shaping up right now, but still a, a half to go. It's not looking like... Uh, they're going to do something to change that trend. And Fort Morgan doesn't have a lot as far as easy games coming up on the schedule. The next five games are all against ranked 3A opponents. Mountain View next week comes in preseason rank of 10th and Erie a preseason rank of 12th. Of course, later on, the big game against Windsor. And from what I understand, Windsor's got some real horses and are a real team this year. Big games on the on the schedule for Fort Morgan. But keep in mind, Brush is no slouch either. They made it all the way to the 2A championship game last year where they lost by one point, and their kicker missed a PAT in that game. So that very easily could have gone the other way had the, had the kicker made a PAT. And, you know, Brush, Brush may be looking at being defending 2A champions, but not the case. Fort Morgan just trying to find a way back into the wind column. Fort Morgan football is brought to you by Ackley Building Center, your one-stop center for projects around your home, office, or yard. Ackley Building Center, located at 1402 Mill Street in Brush. I think Brush this year will come back stronger. They still have their power running game. And as we saw in the first half, Fort Morgan's defense was committed to playing that middle tough. He talked about how many yards Weiser got and how many big plays. They limited the big plays. But Brush answered by saying, we'll take advantage of what you give us. Well, and really those two Weiser runs that, that were for big yardage were plays that initially were supposed to go up the middle, but Fort Morgan's defensive front was there, and Weiser, being smart, bounced the ball out to the outside and was able to, to lower his shoulder and knock off a few would-be tacklers from Fort Morgan. So Fort Morgan's been doing okay in terms of plugging up the middle and limiting how Weiser gets his yards, but the contain on the outside hasn't been what I think Harrison Chisholm would like it to be. No, and any time you're pounding up the middle to stop the run and they call a pass on you, you're backpedaling and it's hard to defend. Very hard. The two teams will get in their huddles. Fort Morgan donning the white helmets with the maroon Mustang on the side. Black tops, black pants with white numerals and white striping. Brush on the far sideline wearing maroon helmets with white tops, white pants, maroon numerals and some maroon socks there from the players that have them still up. Well, we'll see now how Fort Morgan responds. Hopefully Chisholm gave them the speech that they need, and they'll come back and continue to play tough second half. The two teams get back out onto the field. We'll see Brush receiving. They'll have Garcia deep. Garcia hasn't really played as much of a factor in this game as I thought he would. He is coming off of a shoulder injury, which is why he had to move from quarterback to wide receiver. But really not, not playing as much as, as hyped. Playing plenty, I should say. He's playing plenty, but he's not making the plays like I was expecting. Frick is back to kick for Fort Morgan. 12 minutes on the timepiece, 27-6, to 6, brush leads. We're going to get underway here in the second half. Frick again, straight on at the football. He will toe punch this ball. High end over end kick, probably the best one he's had all night. Garcia receives it at the 10. He'll come up looking for a little bit of room, bounce it out left to the 30. 
to the 35, spins off a tackler and will be brought down there by a gang of Fort Morgan tacklers. Fort Morgan had a chance to catch him back around the 20 and let him get away. Uh, there's that playmaking ability that we've seen and, and Coach Chisholm talked about in the pregame. So Brush will start this play at its own 34. Tarmolin breaks. He's got Aldo wide left. He is under center, Tarmolin is. He'll turn and hand the football off to Lee, I believe, and he will be stopped in the middle of the line. That was Lee with the carry. He gains a yard. Again, tough yards up the middle. Fort Morgan stacking them in. Second and nine, brush moving from right to left on your radio dial. Actually, it looks like they gave him about two or three yards there. Call it second and seven. Tarmolin hands the ball off to Weiser. Weiser rumbles to the 45 of his own territory, but that looks good for a first down. That was and nice. it is. That was a nice uh, cross buck. Had the one back dive to the right, and Weiser came back to the left and had a nice hole. Spot the ball at the near hash. 45-yard line. Tormolin breaks his huddle. He'll be under center. Three men in the backfield, Aldo wide left. Tormolin turns, hands the ball to Weiser, who's got a big hole off the right side. He's met there, though, by Jose Miranda of Fort Morgan as he comes up with the tackle, but not before. Weiser picks up another five yards. I think Brush is adjusted and they're now running a little bit wider just off tackle and hopefully Fort Morgan can pick up that adjustment. The ball just on the Fort Morgan side of the 50 second and five middle of the field three straight runs to open the half for a brush Tarmolin turns keeps with the trend hands to Weiser Weiser off the right side where he'll gain about four Sometimes the coach will come out after half and just pound it up the middle and try to demoralize the other team and take whatever halftime speech the opponent, opponents have given their players. Looks like that's Brush's plan right now. Only just take control and, and run the clock as long as they gain positive yards. Tarmolin with Aldo split wide right. He'll turn and hand it, but Weiser is met there. Looks like maybe he slipped a little bit trying to make a cut, but that was a good play by a Morgan kid, forcing him to make that cut and was there to put him down. T.J. Schneider on the tackle. Fourth down now, and we'll see. We still haven't seen a punt for Brush thus far in the game. Fourth and short, they've got to go for it. Well, when you're averaging up front three, four yards of play at least, I think you have to go for it. Call it fourth and th four, fourth down with two yards to go for a first. Weiser gets the football, and he's through the middle of the line. Check that off the right side, and he's able to pick up a first down. Nice eight-yard gain for a first down. So another first down for Brush coming up on the seventh play of the drive. Ball spotted at the 39 of Fort Morgan. Tormolin turns. He's got the ball still, runs a bootleg out, overthrows his man. Brush is doing everything right offensively with the fakes that they're throwing. He got me. Tormolin got me on that play. I thought he had handed the ball off 
through the middle of the line. Does a great job on the play action fake, but is unable to connect with his receiver down the field. That play, Morgan's defensive back stayed home and had good coverage. The first pass comes on the seventh play of the drive. Second and ten. Tormolin again under center. Turns, hands the ball off. Big hit there. As I believe Lee was the one who received that football. Nice three-yard, tough yardage run for Lee. It'll be third and seven. Tormolin again, under center. He'll turn and hand the ball to Weiser, who's got a lot of room this time. He'll make it up. Again, the same play that worked for him on the last third down works for him here. Eight yards on both plays. Another eight-yard game. And that's good for another Beat Diggers first down. Clock is running. Already almost five minutes taken off the clock on this drive. This is just what Brush wants to start the second half with. Spot the ball at the 27-yard line of Fort Morgan. Again, Weiser with the carry. He'll fall forward there to another five-yard gain. I think the brush front five is opening up a few more holes for Wiser than they did first half. They're taking control of the line of scrimmage. Ball spotted at the 23-yard line of the far hash for Brush. Brush, again, Tormolin turns, hands the ball to Wiser. Wow, that was a nice cut back into the inside. Weiser, that's really the first time on this drive that we've seen him cut back to the middle of the field instead of cutting out to the outside towards his own sideline. And I think Fort Morgan was kind of lulled into sleep thinking that he might cut out towards the far sideline, but he didn't. Cuts back into the middle of the field and picks up another first down. Ball spotted at the 14 now of Fort Morgan Territory. Brush again looking to run the football. Nothing doing that time as Tormolin hands the ball to Garcia. Hit at the line of scrimmage, and he's limping a little bit as he runs off the field. Second and nine. Coming up on the 13th play of the drive, we've seen 12 runs, one pass. The pass attempt was an incompletion. And eight of those runs was wiser. Again, Tormolin turns, hands the ball off. Wiser again with the carry. He'll pick up four. So an efficient drive here by Brush what? as they've killed almost seven minutes off of the clock as the opening possession here in the third quarter. Tormolin again under center. He's got a man spread wide left. Sends a man in motion now. Back towards the right. We've got a flag. We'll see what this flag is. A false start. So a false start will push him back, push Brush back five yards. They'll be looking at a third and ten. Brush is just having their way with 
Fort Morgan defense right now. See, I'm seeing a lot of hands on hips for the Fort Morgan defense as they're a little gassed in this opening drive here. What a perfect drive to use up a third of the last half and go up by 27. This drive started with 11 minutes and 50 seconds on the clock in the third quarter. We're now down to 4 minutes and 40 seconds and counting. And it looks like Brush will take a timeout. Beat Diggers will take a timeout. They'll discuss this third down and 11 play. We'll take a timeout as well. You're listening to Mustang Football here on B106 and B106.com. Back inside Legion Field here in Fort Morgan, I'm Alex Egan, joined by Kevin Rohde. Kevin, this first drive by Fort Morgan, let's check that, by Brush here coming out of this second half. We have had 13 plays. 12 of them have been runs. And they've taken a considerable amount of time off the clock. Brush is coming out with a statement of we are going to control the tempo of this game and Fort Morgan, quite frankly, hasn't been able to say no you're not. Brush is definitely playing some smash mouth football. We're going to run right at you and dare you to stop us. Now two wide outs for Brush as they face a third and 11 deep in Fort Morgan territory. Tormolin turns, fakes the handoff to Weiser, keeps it himself, goes off the right side, leans forward. We got a flag down. He'll lean forward to about the four-yard line, which could be close to a first down for him. We'll see what the flag is. It's going to be a hold against Brush, a lucky break there for Fort Morgan. That's going to bring up third and a long, long yardage. They'll count off. From, I believe, where the foul occurred, and it's going to be a third down and 16 after the hold. Well, even if they don't punch it and score, it's a successful drive in that it eats up eight minutes of time and demoralizes the Fort Morgan defense. The ball back at the 20 yard line of Fort Morgan territory. Tormolin drops back to pass. He's got a man downfield. Garcia open. No. That pass well out of the end zone, even though the Fort Morgan defender fell, fell down in the end zone. Garcia, I don't believe, really had a shot at catching that football. Fort Morgan had good coverage. I think Tormolin just threw it away, threw it over their heads. A smart play. Check that Aldo, I believe, on the, the targeting by Tormolin. As Garcia checks back into the game. Again, Brush reluctant to use the special teams on these fourth downs. Inside the 20 makes more sense to get a few yards and pin them back. They'll spread the field. One man in the backfield, four wide receivers, one left, three to the right for Tormolin. Tormolin takes a snap, looks right, and he will be swarmed under by Fort Morgan. A big sack there by Christian Mraz. That could be a momentum changer. Maybe the Fort Morgan mantra is like the old Dallas Cowboys, we'll bend but we won't break. And I tell you, that right there was a 16-play drive that goes all for naught. 16-play drive that takes off nearly seven minutes off the clock, all for naught. That's got to hurt if you're a Brush fan. So Fort Morgan takes over with 419 showing on the timepiece. They'll get the ball at their own 27. Martins takes the snap, runs the option, gets swarmed under there. And Brush's defense kind of taking the lead from Brush's offense despite that last play. Well, Morgan hasn't demonstrated any kind of passing game, so they can play the run and send the people in after the quarterback. So we'll move the ball back three yards from its initial starting point. Brings up a second and 13. 
Martins again under center. Two wide receivers to the near side. He'll hand the ball off. A tough run there by Caleb Sills. He's able to pick up about four yards. That'll bring up a third and eight. Morgan taking their time. A long time in the huddle there, usually indicating a pass play as there's a lot of terms you have to get out there. Two men split to this near side. Martins turns, fakes the handoff, keeps the football himself, looking to throw. Has a man, and it goes through his hands. Oh, Aaron Anderson will want that one back. Wide open, and it just goes through his hands. So an incompletion there. And Fort Morgan will bring on the punt, punting unit. Garcia deep to receive for Brush. Tony Zwetzig with another high snap. He's able to corral it in after he turns around, manages to get something off, and Garcia will let it just bounce past him. The ball will be downed. At the brush 34-33, where they will take over. Still leading this contest 27-6. Two minutes, 32 seconds in the third quarter remaining. That was an excellent play by Zwetzig to jump up and catch that and get it off before the defenders got to him. The long snapper for Fort Morgan has been inconsistent at best in terms of his snaps. Back to Zwetzig for the punts. One resulting in a safety. Brush takes over. From their own 33. Tormolin turns and hands the ball off. to Chris Lee with the carry. Gains about a yard. A little miscommunication in the backfield wasn't a clean handoff on that play. Tormolin again breaks the huddle. He's got a man near side and a wide receiver. Again, three men in the backfield. Garcia one of them counter trap play for Tormolin as he hands the ball off to Tyler Carter. Carter able to move through the middle of the line. Pick up about five yards. Check it, make it four yards. And that brings up a third and five. turned out to be a really beautiful evening weather-wise. A great evening weather-wise as I'm not seeing any clouds. Also, it's very dark, so I'm not sure I could see any clouds as Brush is working from right to left. Another counter trap play, and Connor Weiser has nothing but green grass in front of him. 20, 15, 10, 5, and touchdown. His third touchdown run of the night. The trap play works for Brush. 62 yards on that carry. Connor Weiser, 62-yard touchdown run. His third touchdown of the night. He's the workhorse of this brush offense. And with 50 seconds showing on the clock here in the third quarter, Brush has a 33-6 lead. Awaiting the PAT. And tell me there's not any love lost here. Randy Dreitz sending out his offense to go for two here. 
Well, they haven't had much success at kicking it. One of four. Tormolin under center. He's got a man wide right. Now puts him in motion. That's Albo. He'll look that way to pass. And it is incomplete. A great play there by the defensive back for Fort Morgan to knock the ball away from Vince Albo. Chris Pineda did a really good job being there and intercepting the arc of that ball and knocking it away. So Brush with a 33-6 lead. 50 seconds remains here in the third quarter. You're listening to Fort Morgan Football on B106 and B106.com. Welcome back inside Legion Field for this presentation of Fort Morgan Football. Brought to you by Central Auto Parts. For all your auto supply needs, stop by Central Auto Parts at West Platte Avenue in Fort Morgan. Brush up 33-6. 50 seconds remains here in the third quarter as they kick the ball away. High end over end kick. Fielded at the five-yard line by Fort Morgan. The first straightforward kickoff return we've seen from Fort Morgan. And Nate Alexander is able to bring the ball to the 30-yard line, a return of 25 yards. Check that to the 29-yard line. Take away a yard from that return. Martins again goes to work. It's time for Fort Morgan to try and get something positive to look back on. Spreading out the offense again now as he sends a man and a false start by Pineda. That's a tough play there. The motion man in Fitzsimmons came across, and Pineda left his wide receiver slot a little bit too early in anticipation anticipation of a screen that he was about to block for. And it looked like it was developing nicely. Probably would have gone for some positive yards. It probably could have gone for some positive yards as Garcia kind of out on an island out there for Brush. Again, the field spread. Two men to Martin's left. Two behind him as well. Martin's gets the snap, looks to pass. Looking left. Now comes back over the middle of the field. Oh, and it's through the hands. Aaron Anderson again. Targeted by Martins, and he's not able to haul in the pass. He got the ball to the receiver. Like they say in the big leagues, if it hits your hands, you should be trying to catch that. But it would have been a tough catch either way. There's a rule that I always went by. It was if it if you can touch your hands, you can catch it. And Aaron Anderson definitely had two now go through his hands that I'm sure he wants back. Catchable balls as well. Martins again takes the snap. Another trap play it looks like. Nice run by Goto. Goto, for as much as we have expected out of him, the three-year starter, a senior, He's been limited in what he's been able to do on offense by this brush defense. Still with a negative one yardage on official stats. So the trenches war right now being won by brush. And we'll see what we have here, a whistle by the officials. The end of the quarter is what we have. We'll take a break here on B106. Brush leading 33-6 to over Fort Morgan. Come back. We'll have the fourth quarter for you right here on B106 and B106.com. <laughs> 